Hey guys, this is Wolf Atlas here, and I'm super excited that the Street Rage 4 patch has finally arrived. It's been over a year since they announced that they were going to do a final patch, and it's finally here. Major update, and it is free for everyone who already owns the game. I'm super excited about this. This is going to be like a brief uh, video just going over some of the stuff that... Uh, uh, that caught my eye in the patch. Uh, I'm sure other channels are going to cover it more in depth. So uh, stay to those channels because I'm not going to do that. I will, however, uh, have some plans for upcoming Street Rage 4 content. Um, so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's just go over real quick uh, this patch. Uh, so they start with their, their opening statement. We hope, we hope that you're doing well. Long time no speak. Today, we're pleased to deploy the long-awaited major update. Yes. Uh, so, a few things. New co-op moves. This was unexpected, but I'm glad they did it. Co-op moves were something in the original Street Rage, and I don't think any other Street Rage had it. Or if they did, it, it wasn't utilized? Or, I don't know. I know in Street Rage 1, there was co-op moves. Uh, but I don't play Call of too, too much, so I'm not too sure if they were if they appear in Street Series 2 or 3. Uh, 300 plus in-game improvements, that's great, balances, and then the brand new custom survival mode for the DLC uh, Nightmare. So survival mode is going to get their cust uh, custom mode, I'm super excited about that, I've been playing survival mode for weeks straight since it came out. Um, original plan was to go up to uh, 100 weeks straight. That might change if this patch proves to be exciting. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Because this patch, now that they drop, it's going to change the game a whole lot. Every time a patch drops, the game changes. On top of that, if you don't have the game, the game's now 50% off on Steam. Get the game if you don't have it. It's fun and exciting. I've been playing since launch. Every time a patch drops, it improves the game bit by bit. Everyone and they listen to feedback. Everyone gives feedback uh, if something's not right, and you know it may take time, but they'll they'll look into it and then they'll see what they can do. And uh, I already looked at the patch ahead of ahead of time before recording this, and some of the changes, yeah, there there was if there were people complaining, and it looks like they changed things. So again, just gonna do a real rundown here. Um, so for some of the major updates, they uh, uh, I'm gonna probably go just kind of quickly. So just if you want to read it off of here, you just have to pause. Or all the patch notes are on Steam. That's where I'm reading this off from. Uh, so for this uh, update, they're gonna make stages, the arcade stages, easier to full combo, full full combo the stage. There's the guy I follow, uh, his name is Nexu14. Uh, he is like the full counter king. He's he does full counter videos. He I think he did he got a royal record in the last patch recently. Congrats to him. Uh, check him out. I know he'll probably be super excited about this because he's worked his butt off um doing full combos. And I, I I'm proud of him. He's awesome. Uh, I know, like, my speedrunner um, companions, like Mad Zero and some others, they're going to be excited for uh, the new speedrun stuff that people might come up with. You know, bring things fresh uh, to the table. So that's going to be exciting. Mania Plus looks like it's going to be harder. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Like, they added... it. I think we're, it looks like we're going to start with one life now instead of zero lives, but they're going to make it harder to gain lives, and it looks like it's just going to be more difficult. Uh, I don't know what this curse arcade uh, means, but I'll find that out once I start playing Manning Plus casually with all the characters again. I think I'm going to do that again because that's going to give me more an idea of how each character operates. Uh, the new co-op attacks looks like it's going to be uh, easy to perform. Uh, I'm pretty sure they got the idea from working on the Turtles Shredder's Revenge video. They were like, hey, we can implicate that here in Street of Rage. And why not? Because, again, it used to be a thing in the in the first game. And for some reason, just 
I don't think it ever appeared again. Uh, hit stop, that's important. A lot of people really, really uh, did not like the hit stop. So reducing the hit stop uh, will make a lot of people happy. Uh, I don't know how much of the change it was made, but I'm sure that's going to make a lot of people happy. Uh, with that, um, increased stun on air down attacks. I think that's good because that, that means that it'll be easier to uh, chain that uh, air down attack into a throw. Because that's, that's what I usually do as a max player. I'll do like the, the air down attack into a throw. Makes it much easier, so that's good with that. Um, so that, um, that's, that's like general updates. Now we're going to go into character specific updates. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but Axel, Axel who got the most changes, it looks like he looks like he's going to be better. I, I, I'm pretty sure all these are balance changes. So some characters are definitely going to be better. Some characters going to be, uh, quote unquote nerfed. <laughs> so... Axel, I haven't played him too much because I, I play mostly Max. But it looks like he's going to be better overall because um, a lot of his issues was that uh, his moves uh, would leave him open too much. And based on this, it looks like he'll be less open when he does his specials, his moves, making, it, making him easier to, to use. That's what it seems like here. I'll know more once I play with him. Um, Blaze, I really, I don't really play with Blaze, so I'm not sure how she changed. Uh, same thing with Cherry, don't really play Cherry too much. Uh, so hopefully, well, let's see, Cherry's now more vulnerable when on top of enemy. That change, uh, I, I know about that change because she was invincible when she does those punches, and people will do infinites with that. Uh, so with that change now, that, that looks like that infinite is kind of gone. And then she's more vulnerable. So that's the that's a good thing and a bad thing. Speedrunners will probably hate that, but any other player that was advocating for this would probably enjoy that. Uh, Floyd, I play with Floyd, so uh, his walking speed increased great because he, he's a freaking slow snail for no reason. Um, combo damage increased. Combo last punch. I don't know. Let's see. There was an issue that Anthopants pointed out with his throw. Oh no, the like when he carried when he hold on to the enemy, he will automatically turn towards the right or something like that. I'm not too sure if uh that issue was fixed. I remember he pointed that out. And he had a he made a video of a lot of other issues. Um some of them were valid, some of them I didn't really agree with. Um and I don't think they were ever fixed because that's kind of part of the mechanics of the game. Um, so hopefully, from based on this, it looks like um, Floyd's a bit better. Um, but I'm not too sure. Gatling Punch is no longer invincible if whiff. That kind of sucks because like you can't just freely whiff, whiff it uh, to get out of situation. But more damage on his star moves, star move back hit. Oh, that's with probably his uh, beam. Where he just uh, fires it off and any enemies from behind him will still get hit. So more damage to that is good. Um, yeah, he looks to be better. He's going to be one of the characters I'm definitely going to mess around with more. Adam, Adam, I don't play too much, but my boy Angel5, he plays Adam a lot. So uh, he'll know for sure if he likes these changes or not. Not too sure. One thing I am aware of is that... Uh, that bug where his s special didn't cost life people were abusing that when they could uh so that was fixed we'll see how that goes uh with uh people doing their runs let's see esther i mean esther estelle <laughs> i don't know too much about her uh honestly i she's the least She's the character I played the least, honestly. So I don't know if any of these changes are good or bad. Uh, combo justice so it doesn't loop itself. Uh, that kind of sucks. Uh, less done. Charging cannot be linked with itself. That kind of sucks. It looks like she can't loop her things anymore. Because I, I remember even at, uh, casually playing with Estelle, I was able to pull off a lot of loops. Made her a bit easier to uh, to use. 
Uh, so she might be a little bit harder to use casually. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't know how this is going to play for the, the experienced players I play with Estelle. Players Estelle cops call as blue cross airs. I don't police call. I don't know what that means. Um, police tackle invisibility duration increase and damage increase. Uh, air fire grenade damage increase. Life cost decrease. Add slightly air control. There was another thing with her uh, with her grenades, but I don't remember. I know there were, there were great Estelle players out there that were use, using her really well. Um, and they were abusing a lot of stuff too, but I don't recall all of them. Police called, long, police called longer invisibility, so that's good. Alright, Shiva 4. Everyone was complaining about Shiva, uh, Shiva uh, being way too broken. So this, this is going to... I'm going to read this one off. Real quick. Final Crash is faster, does more damage, and has less recovery. Launch properties reworked. So that sounds good. Because everyone was complaining about Final Crash. Flying Kick does less damage, has less invisibility, and has more recovery. Uh, I think that's the move that uh, allows players to chain infinitely in the air. So it sounds like it's not going to do that anymore. Um, and it's going to do less damage as well. Spirit Palm has less invisibility and more recovery. That's a major change because if you if you early in the early days of survival, everyone will get high uh high rankings to higher up in the level just by spirit palm all day. Like you can see in the earlier videos, like spirit palm, spirit palm, spirit palm, spirit palm, all all day, spirit palm, spirit palm, spirit palm, spirit palm, and that's how they would just get up. The spirit palm, spirit palm. Anyway, um, so. That being less invincible and more recovery means they're not going to be able to spam it. They're, they're actually going to have to play with Shiva. Uh, because Shiva's more than just a spear palm. Back attack can be followed by launch kick. That sounds good. Air, whatever, has more recovery on the ground. Alternate special now launches standing enemies that it has better OTG launch. Shiva clone special moves do not heal with bloodlust. That was another important thing that um, players were abusing because... Uh, with the Shiva clone special and bloodless, you you pretty much would never die. And you spirit ball, spirit ball, spirit ball, spirit ball, all day. The fault down special has a longer and higher hitbox launches higher. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, so overall, he kind of got nerfed. However, I don't think he got nerfed too hard. It just seems like Shiva now, and Shiva players now just have to play with Shiva and not. Solely rely on spirit ball, spirit ball, spirit ball, spirit ball, all freaking day. <laughs> so we'll see how Shiva players adjust to this. If they can still get high ranks in the in survival, um, if they still play survival, because uh, like I say, it can't. It, after a while, it takes a toll toll on you. Max, I'm a max player, so I got to read this off. Uh, at least I will understand this stuff. Uh, more than other players. Fix the last hit combo hitting twice. Now has a property ground slap, slam. This is a nerf. This means you cannot infinite with Max uh, in the corner anymore with his normals. You will see that a lot in my videos when I do uh, survival. even um, Or in speedrun videos. How they uh, um, do that to the bosses to just knock them out. So that is fixed. That's no longer the thing. So no infinite there. Charge attack bigger hitbox. Um, so that's, that's good. Just bigger hitbox there. Back attack, infinite juggle fix. That I know, um, uh, if you see my videos, how I, uh, do the rolling tackle, um, into the jumping back attack and then rolling tackle and to do it again and again, I'm pretty sure that's what they're talking about here. And it just sounds like I can't do that anymore. It's a bummer, but I'll look at that. Vor Vortex vacuum costs more health and va vacuums less. Huge nerf. I know a lot of uh, speedrunners were using this tactics a lot. If you see all the patch 7 speed uh, speedruns, um, uh, this was the speedrun Vortex vacuum. Vortex vacuum. Vortex. I love Max, but I didn't speedrun with Max Thunder too much because I didn't want it to succumb to... I didn't want to do that. I I didn't feel feel like that was fun. Uh, I know there were some uh, there's some players. There's like a, this great Max player, uh, Golden Axe. 
he's he's an awesome max player besides Anton Pants. And even he was just doing that all the time back uh, for the second book to to you know get the high speed runs, and that's fine. It's, it's a legit strategy. It's just not one that I was comfortable with when playing with Max. So it sounds like if you want to still do that strategy, you can. It's just gonna be a lot harder. So we'll see how um, speed running changes with Max um, in this patch because it's definitely gonna change big if you can't really vortex vacuum your way to victory. Uh, and if it changes hugely, I'll, I'll definitely gonna start speed running uh, max max um, more often. Uh, the the max four more often because I I do speed run with uh, max shoot race two version. Spinning knuckle bomb lasts longer, travels further, and is more juggle friendly. I like that because I use spinning knuckle bomb more in survival anyway. Um, and I think in a, in survival mode, I think that was the better special. Air Thunder Strike strikes three times in a line. That makes that move uh, more appealing. Um, thun- uh, default Air Special has better air control and a better hitbox. So it seems like they made the the default one better also. So now it probably is based on player's preference. Do you want to grab in the air or do you want to just strike in the air? Iron Will N is more noticeable. I'm happy about that because the few times I did use Iron Will, I couldn't tell when it ended or not. So I'm happy about that. Max has 20% damage and speed increase under Iron Will Star move, so that's great. Body slam, better air control and recovery. Kind of, I think they kind of really said that already. Uh, Close line has body hit. I don't know what that means, but um, it sounds like close line is better. Power slide, spinning knuckle bomb, thunder tackle, less hit stop. Good. <laughs> I already know that's going to be good. Um, especially with Power Slide, because, you know, Power Slide and Victory is just awesome. Rolling Grab deals low damage on its path, less invincibility. That's a nerf, because I love Rolling Grab in a survival. In Speedrun, I will use, uh, the, the charge, the charging tackle instead. But in survival, I love Rolling Grab. So that's a huge nerf, so I might have to switch back to... Uh, the charging tackle for survival now. <laughs> um, and I, I think I know what they did with this one. So when we go to Max 2, I'll explain that. She's one characters. Uh, the, the big thing is that the cop attack hits full screen again. That's the big thing uh, that a lot of people are excited about. Because uh, for some reason in the last patch, they changed it to her, like a ring or whatever. And... It didn't hit. Every, it didn't hit all the enemies, and people didn't like that. I don't know why they changed uh, changed it, but I'm glad they changed it back. So I'm just skim over Street Rage One characters. I don't really play them that much. Street Rage Two characters, Axel. Don't play much. I'm going straight to Max uh, because I play him. Throws him do more damage. Great. Sliding tackle freeze time is reduced and slides f- further. Great. Power chop damage increase and has less recovery. Great. I mean, I don't use too much, but. Uh, it's just fun him sliding and chopping like chop chop rolling grab in, in, is invincible during the roll part great this th- from reading this and reading max's uh max four on um, rolling grab it sounds like they switched it because when i tried utilizing rolling grab on on street race 2 max i would not get that invincibility and that would it, it was just a bad move because of that. I always, always get hit out of it. Um, so it sounds like since they reduced the invincibility on Street to Rage 4 Max and they increased it on the Street to Rage 2 Max, it sounds like they switched the, the roles around. So I have to play around with it. Maybe maybe still good on Street to Rage 4 Max, but rolling grab seems better on Street to Rage 2 Max, which I'm going to enjoy because I love throwing. Choke hole is now cancelable, so that that's more aligned to shoot your four counterpart. Spinning knuckle ball has more death. Again, probably more aligned of shoot your H4 um max. Alternative specials defense special does more damage, costs less HP, but launches lower when it hits an airborne enemy. I think his defense special is his um uh it's like a it's that um power slam the pretty much the charge charge move for shoot rage 4 max but this one's as a special so it just sounds like 
it does more damage because it's harder to hit with that. Um, you're not going to use it too much, but I might try it out. All right, so I'm not going to go over escape, but from what I'm hearing from Chatter, that his um, his infinite got nerfed also. Uh, so shoot your H3 characters. I'm going straight to Rue, but real quick, I think Skate 3's Infinite got uh, nerf also. Uh, let's see, Ground re ground Blitz rework. Now it goes further, Isolate hits only once. Yeah, they they removed the Infinite for that. <laughs> they were like, this is the only way we could do it. So th there's no more Infinite for that. Uh, even though Infinites are gone, I would really not be surprised if more pop up. Because that that's always been happening. Zahn... Um, I know my my boy Mad Zero plays Zon. Um, he'll know for sure if these reworks are good or bad. I am not too sure, <laughs> uh, honestly. Uh, Shiva three. Uh, I don't I don't play him, so I don't know. If these are good. All right, Rue Rue. All right, so real quick, Rue. Offensive special juggles better. Uh, so that's good. Uh, because it felt weird when you attacked with it. It didn't really juggle too much. Alternate offensive special does more damage. Bounces enemies and can't be canceled into the air version. Okay, I like that. That means I could probably do like a a chain thing with that. Default uh, special does more damage. Adding more air control. Bounces enemies and better hit consistency. Alright, that's actually pretty good too. Earthquake setup. Start up is faster. Hit the last hit launches higher. Okay, Earthquake is Earthquake star, star move. Much better. Still probably won't use it. Jab, jab infinite nerf. <laughs> they just outright said it. Just jab infinite nerf. Ah, which sucks. It's going to be hardest to speed run review. For sure. But I'm going to do it. Um, I held the record for uh, for the last version for a while. Um, it can still be taken away. Because there's for the Steam version, there's a way to go back uh, to previous patches. If you wanted to, if it gets taken away, I'm not going to be bothered with it. I'm just going to focus on the new patch for sure. Uh, but having the record for over a year, I'm happy about that. <laughs> having a world record for a whole year feels great. Um, but anyway, moving on. Spawn Bruce has the same power as Root. That's great. That's that's for survival uh, because your, your Bruce can get lost with the other Bruce's. Rue's Ru Vol is no longer invincible. I don't know what that means. I think that's a bad thing because when I Volt, he's always getting hit out of it. I don't think that's the case. He's, it should be invincible, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's what they meant. It's supposed to be uh, invincible. Uh, Rue's default special wall bounce only on the last hit. Uh, okay, that makes sense. That's fine. Default blitz and offense special drag enemies. Uh... That's interesting. I, I gotta see how that's gonna work. Uh, the last pummel hit is invincible. Okay. Alter's defense has better active frames and hitbox death. Bruce spawn has more life and better invincibility on the hop. Okay. I like that. So it sounds like Bruce is, Bruce is much better. Um, okay. They nerf his infinite. He's gonna be harder to use. Bruce is probably one of the harder characters in the game to use. But I'm gonna be using him. Uh, I'll I'll enjoy this setup. I'll see how it goes when I play it. Wow, this video is going on longer than I expected. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is how exciting I am. Uh, enemies. Uh, real real quick. Uh, I like how the Z's and elite Z's are master more weapons. So you got to be careful about, about that, especially in um, survival. Uh, survival buffs. Real quick. Glass cannon reduces defense by sixty instead of hundred. That means glass cannon is more appealing to get. Uh, and I'm pretty sure uh, all these uh, buffs, uh, attack buffs, do stack up with each other. So that's a good thing. Charge buffs are stronger. Full, full yourself stronger. Uh, they made a lot. They made all the allies stronger, better, which I like. Uh, almost all the allies. Uh, I don't think they didn't do anything with Mrs. Y. Um, but the Donovan one and the Gaussian one is the most important one. I wonder if the weapon glitch is gonna still be there. If it is, that'd be great. Uh, and then more healing items. Um, in survival at higher levels, so bloodlust is not, bloodthirst is not mandatory to reach higher levels anymore. That's great. That means if you want to do a bloodthirst list run, then you still have a good chance of surviving. So I like that. 
Um, flames from fireballs are different from regular flames. Easier to tell. And elemental effects in Survivor are toned down. That's a huge nerf because the, <laughs> the electric one was OP. Uh, the electric one was definitely OP. Ball has reworked, retweaked, always launches in the same direction as the ball multi momentum. That's a good thing. Ball damage reduced for small heads. Fine. Reduce fall damage. Reduce fall damage. How many times I've lost a survival run because the fall damage killed me and it was horrible. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. Weapons throws are invincible, special cancelable. Okay. Uh Zan Shiva 3 and 4 root can now activate bonus levels. That's great. Um Shorter transition times going out of bonus stages too. So full. So they made um, any stage that has the bonus stages uh, easier to full combo. That's for sure. Uh, they added a hidden weapon in stage six. Now I gotta look for that. <laughs> uh, Dick enemy has less light. Barney enemy has less light. I guess people were still having trouble with the cops. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of because this is a random update to me. To me, it's random. I guess they're too. They're just too much. Uh, more heal pickups in stage three. I guess stage three was hard. I don't remember what stage three was. It hard or maybe it was just didn't have enough heal items. I'm not too sure. Ruby has less life. I think Ruby's the jumping kick girls. I guess they were. I mean, they're annoying. I don't think they were difficult, but they they're definitely annoying. More score for extra life and main plus. I'm fine with that. Uh, follow social neutral jumps. All right. All right. And that's about it. Okay. So overall, based on the patch, I'm already excited for this. I don't know if I'll be able to play this today right off the bat. Um, but I'm definitely going to try to hit it off this weekend. Um, just casually uh, see, see, see how, how, how it is. Because reading a patch is one thing, but actually getting in the feel of it is another. You know, so I'll have more reactions on that. Uh, once I start playing the game, uh, definitely look out for I will do uh, Mania Plus clears for all the characters again for this patch with no custom moves. That way, if um, people without the DLC still gets this update, which I'm pretty sure they do, uh, they can still clear. They can still see that, oh, you can still clear the game without having a DLC. But again, game's 50% off currently as of this video. So why not get the game? It's 15 bucks for both. Uh, I think it's 15 bucks for both DLC and uh, the the game and the DLC uh, on Steam at least. Uh, but if you if you don't get the DLC, that's fine. It's fine. You're not missing out much. Uh, but yeah, okay. Videos going on long enough. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. <laughs> Catch you all later. Peace.